After playing a few more games of cards, I've decided I'm going to try and win a game as fast as I possibly can, and this is my best attempt so far. Join us today on Legendary Tactics. So for this game, I decided to go with a faction I hadn't uh, p really played before, and that's uh, the Japanese. I'd had uh, the Japanese uh, as a supporting faction, but this uh, being the main faction, I decided to go with the, the British uh, as a kind of way to uh, shore them up. I really like the British. They've got very tough units, and from what I'd seen of the a lot of the Japanese units, they seem to be, you know, some of them are, are a little bit like that, like three attack, but one only one uh, defense and so they're uh, a little bit um, more fragile and uh, but they are very good though overall I've, I've been uh, found that they've been a lot of fun to uh, fun to play I'm up against an American uh, deck um, so kind of a I love how the card factions mix and mingle in kind of interesting ways here um, the other thing is that I've I've got uh, some good decently cheap uh, cards here um, which is uh, which is always good to get out to a, a, a fast start and uh, but I, I was kind of thinking I, I want to hold back a little bit um, on the bonus uh, that that uh, last card provides to a, you know a bit of a surprise maybe um, and I like just uh, maybe it's my style of play I like to sort of fill up the support line before I do uh, any crazy advancing I want to make sure I've got some uh, stronger cards uh, in play and so um, I'm getting some decent cards um, so I'm just uh, gonna drop that guy on there and uh, make sure to give um, my neighbor a boost in attack um, would have been better if there had been some defense along with that but uh, but anyway we'll we'll see how this goes so at the, when I started this game I didn't think it would be one of my fastest games ever but um, you'll see uh, this. there's a bunch of cards like Overwhelming Force here I didn't feel like uh, gave much advantage. I'm not sure what cards my opponent's holding um, here, <laughs> but uh, they don't seem to be terrifically strong, and I'm fine with that, um, obviously. So um, now, obviously, the other thing too is that you want to try and get as much damage as you can with the uh, with the starter units and sort of clearing out that um, that front line there um, kind of looking at which card I can do to uh, actually combine with um, my attacks so managed to uh, take care of that relatively powerful unit and I'll take out that uh, other US unit without uh, much cost to myself and uh, just reinforcing, dropping the, uh, the tank down, giving myself uh, a bit of a, of a boost attack-wise. I've got a, you know, it's only round four, and I've got a fairly imposing force. It doesn't, it's only two cards, but um, I've, I've been able to do a lot of damage so far. So um, I'm going to uh, uh, see, what I can, see what I can do with the last three credits here. Um, and uh, figuring out what would be the best equation, I just decided. Well, I can live with two two damage on that on that one unit, and uh, let's get uh, let's get some units up on the on the front line. We're going for a quick win here. So, um, my opponent surprisingly is five cards in hand and doesn't seem to be uh, able to counter what I'm what I'm up to thus far, uh, which is a bit surprising. I'm not sure exactly what is uh, going on, but uh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> that uh, that card was obviously meant for one of my more powerful units, but instead uh, just uh, damaged me slightly. Um, in the, in that they, I lost a unit, but it was only one uh, hit point uh, of damage. So, and I've got six uh, points now in the front line with five um, aircraft, so I can do eleven damage in a turn. So there better be some reinforcements coming, and all I'm seeing is just a few buffs uh, coming along from HQ. So no question as to what my turn uh, should consist of. <laughs> I'm just uh, hammer the uh, the HQ, um, drop uh, some some units down here, and uh, and uh, just if if see how things go. If if there's no counter, then uh, th this is going to be pretty much game over now. In very wisely, he drops down a guard, and I've, I love that card for the Brits. Uh, the 
one five there. It's a nice uh, card to have. Um, so I'm kind of looking at what I can get away with here. So I'm going to play that card now, boost my uh, unit. I'm able to destroy that uh, unit without any, uh, without any losing any, any cards and uh, do some more advancing. Um, and then he's basically there's just that 4-4 four, four left. Um, so we'll have to see with two, two health on uh, uh, for the USHQ there. It's not looking too good. Um, and uh, he, my opponent's just able to just drop a, a unit, maybe two down. And uh, that's it. Unless there's a blitz unit or something. You know, gunship mission does a bit of damage, but that's it. Um, that's basically the uh, the game right there. So I accidentally played that convoy card uh, by, by his, my mouse slipped. <laughs> so I would have finished the game off even sooner. But um, that is the quickest victory uh, that I can, uh, I think, pull off in this uh, in this game so far. It's roughly speaking a, a little over five minutes. And uh, so if anyone else has a, a time that they think uh, is better than that, um, hey, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. And while you're down there, please take a moment to like and uh, subscribe. It really helps out our channel. And uh, join us here next time on Legendary Tactics.